Are you intimidated in drilling holes in ceramic, porcelain, or glass? Don't be. In this video, I will show you how. This is an actual footage of how long it's taken to drill this hole. Not too long now. These are the tools of the trade. This is just a scourer, kitchen scourer, the sponge. So we need a sponge, we don't need a scourer because the sponge is very important for absorbing the water and also you need the water so you don't blunt up your drill bits. And these are the drill bits. So I've got a 15 millimeter, 38 millimeter, 25, a 10 and an 8 millimeter. This is diamond coated drills. Today I'm going to show you how to use these two drill holes in. So this one is a candle holder and this candle holder doesn't have any holes in the bottom and the holes on top. So how are we going to make a pot out of that? Well I'm going to show you how. This is just an ordinary mug. So when drilling holes it is much easier if you've got a bottom like this one where there's a depression that way you can have the water pulling there so that when you do your drill it doesn't wear out your drill so these drills now I've had them for a long time and then I'm just going to spit this up we'll take off the sponge part and cut it in half okay so now I've got two which I'm going to cut now a hole in the center. This is just to ensure that we can fit our um, drill bit in. But see that one, that's fine. Probably it is a bit bigger. But the smaller one, the 25 mil, is just perfect. See? So that's the whole idea. So. The small ones, we can still put the small ones through and that will just be ideal. If we plug it in, it would be better. I think it works better with electricity. You can use a cordless drill as well if you get a cordless drill. But I'm using a corded one. The drill is quite cheap, so I got it for $35 or something. So for this one, I'm going to use a 25 mil. So, and our little sponge, put that on there. This now I've dumped the sponge and you can see that's absorbing a lot of water. When you drill it, you start off with say, for example, I just roughly, because I've done this before, so that's why I don't need marking or anything. So I just pick the center and I do it at an angle. So don't do straight on, just do a little bit of an angle just so your diamond drill bit can uh, grab hold of the edge of your pot or your ceramic uh, pot okay so now and then I use my the back of my hand just sort of against it so that way um, I can sort of lean and rest my, my hand sort of thing onto it and then it doesn't it doesn't take that much effort you just do lightly so I'm just doing this on the side just so So what I'm doing is just scoring it with that little bit of effort look see the score mark here hang on where are you there can't feel it there so the tip of my nail there you go so you've got a score mark now so now that is much easier now to continue without drilling 
Okay, so the, the sponge is good to normally I would, okay, hang on, do this. I would just do that like that there, but you can't see, see that's the thing. So now I'm going to have to do a little trick here, just so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, not use the sponge for that. But I'll just be gentle so that way the water doesn't go everywhere. But then I've got another sponge here to just absorb the water at the back part if it does spill over. So now I'm going to okay continue on the side. So I still got a bit of water here. I need more. So I'm just feeling the, where I scored it before and I'm going to continue. Notice that as I go further along, I'm tilting my drill slowly up. And I'm going to go in a circular motion going around and then I'm just going to wipe my hands with this rag here because I'm going to hold it with two hands as I go swing around, so that motion of the ocean, I'm going to follow round. We're going to go round and round. Okay, so now I'm just going to inspect to see the progress of our drilling so there you go so see okay so now we're going to continue and also it might help if you put your hand down here not to where it's spinning like that but just up above here you just get better support There you go. We've gone through. We got a hole. Woohoo! We got one nice neat hole. Okay, so we'll put this one away. The next one, I'm gonna drill a hole on top of candle holder. <laughs> we're gonna drill a hole in this one. So we're gonna be using the 38 millimeter. Okay. So again, with this one, there's already a dip. See, so the water can sit there. There you go. And with this one, it's pretty straightforward because uh, it's sort of anchored in like that. So it can't go anywhere. It can't slip. So now I'm going to change my drill bit and use the 38 mil. And then off we go. So just gently, slowly. And I'm just doing a swinging motion. I'm going to rock it. Okay, it's also a good idea to check the temperature of the water. Or if it gets hot, then you have to absorb the liquid or the water that's inside that. And then it's not a liquid anymore. It's a slurry, basically. So now that's got a big hole so you can see the hole in the center now and we're going to continue okay nearly there so now oopsie okay what happened is I've got a hole through now so but side the side there doesn't have any uh, what you call it <laughs> It hasn't gone through yet, so I'm going to cut a piece of this, okay? So now you have a small piece of sponge. So now I'm going to take the sponge, I'm going to put a little bit of water here, but I'm just sort of slowly putting that on the side there, just so as to guide it, basically. Okay. 
Okay, I'll do the opposite side here. So as I'll be pressing the sponge as I'm drilling through. There you go. All done. So we've got a hole on the top and so now we're going to do a hole in the bottom. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter for this one so I'm going to change my weapon again and dip it there again so I would prefer to just use the sponge put it through because that's going to be all wet or the water there and I already scored it see so now I can just go feel that edge there and hold the sponge and drill away let's just check see it's nice and cool as well so and if you feel that it's getting hot you can always dip it again and then you have more water and then we go continue Oops. there you go all done okay so you can just wash that off and fish this other one out there you go get rid of that and there you go so you've got a pot ready see the nice little hole in accordance to the size of the pot so that's perfect now I can plant some succulents in it and show you that now how to do this one oh geez it's 2 30 in the morning <laughs> okay night owl okay see this is really good this one now is good for that one so that one is actually uh, difficult because it's so if you push too hard you're gonna break the pot so it's important to just be gentle just do it gently so we're going to use this one so i'm going to have to dip my drill bit into the water just to get it wet and then start it but i could also use the sponge on the edge what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to rest the back of my drill and i'm going to angle it to just sort of hit there a little bit just on the edge just to score it first up there you go so once it gets a bit of a grip so there you go so I've got a score now every now and then it jumps but that's normal See how it absorbs um, the stuff that's coming out of our little pot. Okay, so my drill bit is still cool. And the hole is getting bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead. So I hope you don't mind me. I just go ahead and continue this. And once it makes a noise like that, it means it's already gone through parts of it. So, yep. So we've got a little hole on the side. I don't know if you can see that one there. See, it's already a hole. There you go. We've gone through, folks. Okay. And this one is quite sharp on the edges, so you need the file to go around. There you go. And then we just pop the little thing there, and there you go. Perfect hole. So another cute little pot for our succulents, for my succulents. So now this one, hello, we're just going to take the bottom as well. 
Look, it's got a big hole, but it's not a problem. We can just put a little thingamajig there. I'll do that later on. I'll show you how I'm going to repot this on the next video. Repotting the shoe. Okay, so now this one, same thing. The drill, we go sort of on the edge, just roughly anywhere. There you go. We got a hole. And also, this one, um, I can feel that this is a little bit porous. So before I use this for putting pots and plants, I mean plants, sorry, uh, you have to seal it first. I would seal it first with a, a slate sealer or lacquer. A tile sealer will do as well. So there you go. So the rest, the, this one's already got a hole. So I only done one hole, but uh, I might need to do another hole on this side just to even it out because if it does sort of sit this way or tilt a little bit, then the water can pull on this side and vice versa. So need another hole there. Ta-da! Bye!